Hi right, guys, um, I've got the load bench working. Got, um, I've actually got it putting out torque and horsepower and from manually putting in the results to my code and everything, it actually seems to be spot on. Um, so I thought I'd make this video and see if there's, um, if anyone thinks I've missed anything anyway, or like, done some of my sums wrong or something, I'm not sure, but to me it seems to be working pretty good. Um, I'll give you a quick rundown of what it is. Um, so, obviously at the moment I've just been doing my field test on this, on um, the field windings of the converted alternator, so the uh, field windings inside is 12 volts. Um, the VESC is powered from the 10S battery pack got which is here yeah, plenty enough uh, this meter just records what the battery does I've just got that there just as a um, just a little backup kind of thing but yeah like 108 amps on my last run 4000 watts peak um, so yep uh, so that VESC is called called by that little PC fan it just all comes on together with that switch so it's all unfair um, and then servo, servo tester for the input for the VESC. Um, so anyway, the chain driven up to this shaft here, to this hydraulic motor, and then any any load that that hydraulic motor is under will trend will what will it do? Transition that load across this bar, which is half a meter. Uh, to this load cell, so the load I can increase by twisting this, closing it on and off, so I could be complete lockout, or just yeah, just increase slowly. Um, so whatever load has been put on this, obviously that lifts up. So that gear is getting pushed. This is getting pulled around that way. So the load is getting stopped. The flow is getting stopped by this flow gauge, so the motor naturally wants to push down. So then that will push down to this cell, which I've calibrated, which goes into the Arduino. And then from the Arduino, um, I can, I've also managed to break out RPM from the desk, which is really handy, and it's actually spot on, so I can use that in the equations to work out horsepower. Um, so yep, that's all there. Um, so these are some of the results I've got from my run. Uh, they're not 100 percent I still need to iron a few things out, but um, just thought I'm excited, I'm gonna show you <laughs> what what's happened, what I've got. So like the RPM at 26. 2600 RPM to kilograms, so that's the raw kilograms coming out of the load cell. I thought I'd add that there because I can double check my equations, make sure that the code that's in the Arduino is actually equating the, the correct formula. Um, but yeah, so the torque is 8.7 and then, so then you'd RPM times torque divided by 7, 7, 1, I don't know whatever it is, 7, 1, Two seven or something, I'm not sure. Um, gives you your horsepower, which is pretty cool. So you can see here when it's really locked up. So when I put too much load on it, the torque goes goes pretty high. But because we've got no RPM, because we've got no RPM, we've got no horsepower. So it's pretty interesting mucking around with it. it just sort of verifies what I already know, but it just puts it, you know, makes it easy to understand I don't know easy way to, like to actually visualize horsepower and how it's how it's produced um, so really electric motor really all you want to know is torque because but I I don't know this is good I like it it's good so these are all the dirt so this is where I've sort of tried it a few times um, so if we go down so I don't know what the highest value is yet. I will do another video of like just 
what this alternate, what this converted alternator, what the maximum I can get out of it. Um, but that'd be a separate video. This is just to show you that it's actually working. I I think it's working. I believe it is. Um, when you get these huge spikes like this, so from when it goes to 2000 RPM down to 500 RPM, you get like a 14 torque here, which you can't trust because it's obviously just suddenly slowed down. So you've got a huge amount of inertia behind it, so that torque value is going to be a lot higher. Um, it's not going to be a true representation. So um, it takes you take the one that's before it, which is like this one. So you've got a torque value of nine horsepower of 3.56. So yeah, that's like that's a more consistent. One, so that 3.67, 3.74, which is the last highest one. This is 10, 10 newton meters of torque. So yeah, um, I don't know if I show the code quickly, whether it's any bother, if there's any point, but. So I've just got um, reading, which is the scale reading which is there, so that's kilograms reading and an exclamation mark after the reading and I've got torque which is reading times 9.81 times by 0.500 which is the bar length and then divide by 3.75 which is my gear ratio and exclamation mark then my horsepower is reading times 9.75 obviously which is torque, I could probably write this better and put this into so I could just put torque instead of having what I've got here um, but anyway I've got that times by RPM divided by 71 there um, print that out which is horsepower and then exclamation mark done um, so yeah and the RPM is just taken from the VESC here VESC get VESC value RPM divided by 6 because I've got it's e, e RPMs the value it's getting from the VESC um, which is obviously raw uh, ERPM, so you need to divide that by six because that's the magnetic poles that are in the alternator, um, and then that gives you your true RPM. So yeah, I think that's um, pretty cool. That's pretty good. So I'll do some more videos. I might just do like a quick. I think I've got a video of just a quick load test, um, and I'll put that on there, and you can see what I mean by when it just suddenly locks up. Um, but the amps will shoot, go to full. Duty cycle drops, obviously, because the RPMs dropped, and it just sits there on, on the highest torque value. So you still get really good torque, but you don't get your horsepower rating because rating the RPMs so low. Um, but yeah, if there's anything you think I've missed or done wrong, uh, leave a comment. And if you like it, um, please subscribe and like the video. I will put some more. Um, I've got full load tests of that motor, it should be a bit more, a bit more exciting than just talking about it, but yeah, anyway, cheers guys, see ya, bye. Yeah, so here's that load test, not the one of the results, but this one, um, you can just see the motor suddenly drop RPM, but the torque's still there, just obviously the horsepower drops because of the RPM, but anyway, uh, cheers, if you like it, please like and subscribe for the next video should be a full load test and see how much um, power we can get out of this motor.